Hey kids, Mr. Fla here, hope you're well. Just a quick little extra bonus video today. If you're one of the people that uh, only watches my channel for motorcycling content, you may well want to skip this one because there's going to be a bit of aeroplaneage involved. But uh, if you do like aeroplanes, stick around and stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, a bit of a special video this one. So what's going on today then? Uh, well, it's, uh, actually, I don't know what the date is, it's about June the 4th, something like that, it's a Tuesday. And uh, I'm on my way at the moment uh, up towards uh, Duxford Airfield, a historic World War II airfield here in the UK, somewhere that uh, is almost my second home. I love it up there as an aeroplane anorak. And the reason I'm going up there, by the way, I'm just uh, near Hitchin at the moment, if you're wondering where I am in Hertfordshire. The reason why I'm going up there today is because there's an event on called uh, Dax Over Duxford. And basically it's going to be the biggest gathering of DC-3 Dakotas since the Second World War. It's uh, to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Um, what's going to happen tomorrow, Wednesday, is that up to 40 of these Dakotas are going to uh, form up and fly over to France and there's going to be a commemorative parachute drop in the same spot that the original uh, D-Day paras dropped. So it's all part of that and uh, basically what's happening at Duxford today is they're going to be doing some practice runs, they're going to be doing, there's a bit of an air display involving some of the Dakotas, they've got, as I say, anywhere between 30 and 40, rumour has it, up there, which is just going to be an amazing sight to see. And at some part, uh, some point during the day, they're going to do a practice mass parachute drop with uh, round parachutes, the type that they use in the war, and I understand there's going to be up to 200 parachutists dropped, now that is going to be something to see. So that's why I'm heading up here. I'm going to be making a meeting a pal of mine up here, I hope, so uh, you'll probably see him later. I'll try and get a little bit of uh, footage of the Dakotas up there, if you're interested. But uh, I haven't got what much in the way of uh, video cameras that I can record aircraft with. So I'm going to take a, a few snaps as well. I'm laden up with my uh, SLR camera, so I'm going to take some still pictures for sure. Uh, but the video stuff might only be what I can get off of my iPhone. But anyway, we'll see what we get. But just in case you're wondering what uh, motorcycle I'm riding today, this isn't my bike. I'm uh, currently borrowing from Triumph UK a uh, Triumph Scrambler 1200 XC X-Ray Charlie. I've uh, not ridden one of these before. I've ridden the XE X-Ray Echo, the more expensive version. Uh, but I've not seen many reviews of the XC. So uh, I was quite interested to use this or borrow this one as a long-termer. So uh, very kind of the guys up at Triumph once again to let me borrow it. Let's uh, get past this discovery. No, I shouldn't undertake, but he's been on the outside lane, not pulling in for ages. And anyway, I'll say no more about this bike on this video, because there is, of course, going to be lots of videos coming up on the channel. So if you're interested in the Triumph Scrambler 1200, stick around and stay tuned to the channel. There'll be a few weeks before you see these reviews. There's got loads of stuff to come before then, but uh, that's kind of what, what I'm working on at the moment. What I can say is, it's a lovely bike. I also thought this little run from my house up to Duxford is about uh, 70 miles or something like that. So that's a good little run just to uh, test out the bike. Wow, suddenly no traffic whatsoever, brilliant. Alright, well I reckon I've got about uh, 30 or 40 miles to go until I reach Duxford. I'll uh, speak to you when I get there. This is where travelling to these events on the bike come into their own. I've got uh, another 7 miles to go to Duxford Airfield yet. And this is the traffic queuing up to get in. Seven miles of this. Now the weather's not set particularly fair today. It's going to rain, which is why I'm in all my waterproof kit. But I'd still rather come on the bike than sit in traffic like that to get in. Well, I do feel for the guys sat in this traffic. The uh, start of the flying doesn't happen for another hour and a half, but uh, these people would have been sat in this traffic flow for a long time. Poor devils. And still this queue goes on and on. Look at these poor devils. There's still about uh, four or five miles to go to Duxford, so uh, these guys are going to be stuck in here for some time yet. Obviously Dakotas are much more popular than I anticipated. Anyway, no such trouble for us two-wheeled fellows. Well, I've made it past all the traffic and uh, all those poor motorists were being filtered into a uh, overflow car park, which is miles back there. I've just got to go up to the roundabout, come back, 
and then I park in there with the motorbikes, which is very handy indeed. All right, I'll see you when we get uh, parked up. Right, I'm in. Cute. Fabulous. Nice Norton. Cheers. Right, so I made it to Duxford. Lovely ride in, and uh, just felt sorry for those uh, motorists that were waiting there for ages in the traffic. But uh, you know, an awful lot of people here. I can see at the moment. I think I counted 17 Dakotas that I can see in front of me at the moment. And uh, as I say, there's going to be up to 40. So uh, let's see what the day brings. I've got to go and find my mate now, wherever he is. There's uh, an awful lot of people here to find him amongst. Well, that turned out to be a bit of a uh, dead washout in the end, unfortunately. It's, uh, the weather got colder and colder and just closed in and uh, it got windy. There were no parachutes to drop and it started to rain a lot. So uh, people have basically started to go home. So that's, that's the end of that. What a disappointing day, a bit of a washout. It had so much promise and it's June, but uh, this is the weather we get in Blighty occasionally and it just uh, didn't happen. Oh, well, got to jump on the bike and ride home. We've got that to look forward to. So there we have it. That's. Uh, the end of this little video, hopefully uh, I've got a couple of uh, shots and some little bits of video that I can mix in there. If you haven't seen them, then I didn't get them. Unfortunately, the light was such that uh, it wasn't very good even for photography, so uh, sorry about that. It's a bit of a disaster all around this one, but uh, thought it was worth uh, bringing you along anyway. Okay, just a daft little video this time. Normal service resume next time, all about motorbikes and hopefully with some better weather. So uh, that's it for now. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Fly. Cheerio.